Hi, my name is Jim Green. I'm a gunsmith. The name of my shop is Gunworks, located in the town of Harrington in Down East, Maine. Today's rifle we're going to discuss for uh, disassembly and a good clean is one of my favorite bear hunting rifles of all time. It's no secret that I'm a lever action nut. I like lever action rifles and this is no different. This is a Marlin 1895 guide gun. This one here happens to be in 4570. A um, couple of features I like about this rifle, the way I have it set up, is I have quick detachable scope and I have ghost ring sights on the rifle. So if I ever get in a situation here where I'm in heavy bushes, uh, my scout scope can pop right off but just by simply flipping these little levers right here I can take it off and stick it in my pocket. I can switch out to ghost ring sights. Okay, now, just before you disassemble any rifle, the first thing you want to do is make sure the gun's not loaded. Uh, you'd think that's common sense, but you'd be surprised at how many people I've uh, encountered that actually tries to clean the rifle with the bullets in it, and it's, that's not a good combination. So, we'll open the lever up, make sure it's empty, and let's get started. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do with this rifle right here is show you how to do like what they call a quick disassembly and what I mean by that is you can actually just pull the bolt and get a better fitting screwdriver you can actually pull the bolt without uh, stripping the entire guts out of the gun this is what you can do for a quick cleaning out in the field actually let me back up a little bit I want to take this sling off so I don't have to wrestle this thing so I can get back to business here Okay, we're going to remove this nut right here, or this uh, screw, I mean, sorry. I'm going to cock this and pull the lever out the bottom, and then your bolt just comes right out the rear. Now, for a quick field cleaning, that's pretty much about all you're going to need except for to punch the bore. You're going to be able to get inside the action right there after you wipe the bolt off and stuff. And if you're, out in the, if you're out in deer camp or out in uh, bear camp or whatever you're hunting with this particular rifle, this right here is all you're going to need to do for a, just a quick little cleanup. Pretty darn simple as far as that goes. However, today we're going to show you how to pull everything completely out of this gun. Now, since you got your bolt already out of the gun and you don't have your lever anymore, you can't pull the trigger release. So you see right here is a little uh, lever safety. Push up on that so you can pull your trigger and release the spring tension on your hammer. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the stock screw and pull the stock. Now with your bolt already out of the gun, you're going to be able to just shake it a little bit and your extractor is going to fall out because believe it or not the bolt is what actually holds that extractor in. I'll show you how to put this back in. There we go. Now, let's set the stock off to the side. So in order to get the magazine tube disassembled we are going to have to take the screws out of the side here. Okay, once you got those screws loosened up, pop that up and pop that and pull that down off the tin. Okay, here comes your magazine and the tube. Well, sometimes she flies up and kinks on me like that. I'll untie that later. Take your little retainer off the end. You slide your hand guard and everything else off right there. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back here to the back. You see your little uh, hammer strut and spring and this little retainer right here? 
And you, if it's really hard and you can't, you don't have good strong thumbs like me, you can tap that with the back side of a ball peen hammer. But what I'm going to do is just simply push them down and release that. There's your spring. All right. So the next thing we're going to end up doing now is we're going to remove a couple of screws. We're going to remove this one here, this one here, and that order. This is how you get your tang out the bottom. Now these screws are going to be two different lengths, but they're going to be threaded to the same thread pitch, and you've got to be careful not to put them in the wrong hole. That's why when I take them out, I set them off to the side so I can keep track of them. Remember, the long one goes in the front, and the short one goes in the side. Now, we've got one more screw right here. This is going to hold not only the back part of the tang, but it's also going to hold the hammer in place. So I want to save it for last. Okay, once you've got that out, you can go ahead and pull the tang off the bottom. Then you're going to have a locking block that's going to come out. Then your hammer. All right there's your Marlin guide gun stripped for a really good cleaning. But you're still not quite done yet. There's a couple more parts that need to come out of here. We're going to remove the carrier. Okay, notice how I pull that out? Now there's a screw right here that holds that carrier in place. Just like that. One last piece that you can remove if you want to. Uh, it's not necessary for a good cleaning because if you notice, you look right down inside there, this rifle is now officially completely gutted. But if you really, 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 really want to get the last part of it out, you got one last screw right here which holds your load gate in place. Let me switch out to a different bit because I do not want to scratch that up. It's always important to use the best fitting screwdriver bits that you've got or screwdrivers because you do not want to bugger your threads up or booger up the heads of your screws. Okay, there's your load gate out. And that little screw, you can just take and turn it over. And it should pop right out in your hand. Now, there's everything completely out of that Marlin guide gun. Now, here's the cool thing, though. You take a part of Marlin 336 almost exactly the same way. I don't think there's anything more than just dimensional differences between a 95 guide gun and a 336 uh, in 3030 or 35 Remington. These Marlins are pretty simple. Now everything's going to go back together exactly opposite the way you took it apart. To my knowledge, I can't really think of any trick right now that's going to help you with disassembly and reassembly. The order you took it apart in is the order it needs to go back together in. So we'll just go ahead and give him a little spritz of oil. Wipe everything off, check all the parts for wear. And this is a Marlin Guide Gun, 1895 and 4570. Actually, I'm going to show you a couple of things. We're going to kind of skip through reassembly, but there's a couple of little tricks that maybe you might need to know. Okay, well, you got your... Uh, you got your gate back in, you got your carrier back in, and your locking block. I've slid the hammer back into place and I have the holes lined up. When you go to put the tang back in the bottom, you'll notice the trigger doesn't come all the way back. What you might want to do is push up on this, pull the trigger all the way back, so the hammer has to fit down inside this notch right here. The thing of it is, if you don't have your trigger all the way back, the sear's not going to be in the right place to get that hammer back in there, so it's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, sometimes I forget to show these little tricks because I'm just used to doing this. There we go. I 
also I have a habit too of using my pin punches to get these holes all lined up properly. All right, now we got that back in place, let's tighten that up and then we'll move on to the next little trick that I'm going to have to show you here that will probably help you with reassembly. Before we put anything else back in here, let's get this uh, hammer spring and retainer and everything back in place. Okay, now that you're at this point right here, go ahead and slide your hammer spring back on the strut. <clears throat> I'm going to stand up so I can get a little bit of leverage here. Now you'll notice there's a hole right there. This hole is where the back of that little strut goes and you'll notice a slot in the bottom of the tang. That's where the bottom of this goes. Alright, what I like to do is stick the muzzle on the table right there. Take this piece right here. If you've got pretty stout fingers you can do it this way. If not, you may even have to use another method. Not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to, I'm going to jam that back into place. I like to push up on that and you see it works. Do you see how that goes back in? Okay. Now, the last little thing that I meant to tell you, the way this extractor goes back in, the bolt holds it in place. You notice a little tiny hole right up here on the top? That's where this little tip of that extractor sticks out. So, what we're going to have to do is slide that. Let me show you here. There's going to be a slot on the inside. Not sure how well you can see it. In fact, let me put you a flashlight in there so you can. You'll see that large slot down inside the receiver. Okay, That's where your extractor is going to go in. And that thing is held in place only by the bolt. Now there's a groove on this other side of the bolt right here where this little piece sits. This is how it's going to sit right inside your gun, just like this. That's where it slides and that's where it works. So let's get this back in the rifle right here. Make sure it's down in there. All right, you see how it's, the tip is sticking through the hole? And you just slide your bolt back in. Hold that, hold that in place and just kind of start working your bolt a little bit. There we go. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a farm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, code it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or call in the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.